In negotiating the surf, timely communication between the crew person and driver is vital. The crew person plays a very important part in maintaining the balance of the craft and ensuring that the IRB successfully negotiates the brake. If you are crewing a class one or class two IRB, it is recommended when going over or through the waves to push with your feet while tensing up or flexing the whole of the legs and torso. Also, lift the buttocks several centimetres above the pontoon just before landing. In a class three IRB, the crew person remains braced against the pontoons with buttocks on the floor and feet firmly against the opposite side pontoon. It is essential to stay and ride with the IRB rather than getting thrown around. This is best achieved by sitting on the pontoon as this takes the least amount of effort. The same principles will apply when proceeding back to shore or across the whitewash. Unless absolutely necessary, the IRB driver will not head directly towards unbroken waves. Ideally, waves should be approached at a slight angle to enable the IRB to be turned around quickly in the event of any danger or emergency. You as a driver should approach oncoming broken water at a speed necessary to negotiate the prevailing brake. Small broken and green waves may be negotiated at an angle. However, large broken waves should always be taken head on so that the force of the broken wave is evenly distributed along each side of the IRB. When going over broken waves or green swells, do not use excessive speed. Once a wave has been negotiated, set the throttle for a speed appropriate to conditions. When approaching a wave, the driver should throttle back just before the IRB reaches the base of the wave, so that the IRB rises over the wave in such a manner that it doesn't leap off the top of the wave and become airborne. In a situation where the wave is reasonably large, it may be necessary to accelerate the IRB slightly after the initial impact to ensure that the IRB continues to travel up and over the wave. It is important to just overmatch the force of the wave by the speed and power of the IRB. This requires practice at timing the approach of the oncoming waves. Remember that excessive throttle is only required in extreme emergencies and causes uneconomical operation of the motor and undue wear and tear of the IRB.